Alright guys, this is Nicholas Barco. Welcome back to yet another Minecraft video of mine. And today we're going to be taking a look at three different designs for a very, very simple enderpearl elevator. So the first one is this one in yellow here. We're just going to take a look at it first. So as you can see, we've got ladders on each side on two layers on top of each other. So it just looks like this. And we got string on top. So let's test this out. This is just to give you an idea how this all works. And you need to have a little bit of trickery involved so that you do not fall down again. So the uh, pro or the yeah, the good side about all these three ender portal elevators is that they do not use any redstone. That means they are very resource friendly, but you gotta shift click for this one and for this one right there and for the middle one you're gonna do something else but we'll get to that in just a moment so let's get to it let's hold shift and enter pearl right in the middle there and now we're up we gotta keep holding shift click until we're up here and then we are free to roam around everywhere and then we can just go ahead and enter pearl into the next one and so on and the string on top is just there um to get the ender pearl a place to hit so you do not go too far out or anything like that so the space between all of these uh, ender pearl elevators is 20 to 25 blocks I guess but do not go any further or at least I do not recommend you going any further because then it would not reach because if we would throw up the ender pearl here yeah it goes up a little bit higher you could go maybe like 25 blocks or something this is 20 blocks from the ground so yeah you gotta figure around a bit with that but do not go up as high as 30 blocks but as you can see if we would end up right there it would also be pretty pretty high okay so let's get to number two this is right here in red let's take a look at it first again so we just got the same setup right here but instead of string we're using carpet this has the great advantage that we cannot fall through again maybe you want to go through if you want to go down but this once you're up you're not going to get down again and then if you're in the pearl into the next one there's not going to be any uh, problem like uh, falling through again so let's test this uh, this out but first let's get down here uh, game mode 0 because you cannot use ender pearls in game mode 1 and there we go keep holding shift and now we're up and can do the next one just like as so okay and now to the third one which is a little bit more resource yeah a little little small tiny bit more costly which is using signs and water this is pretty much yeah free just a little bit of wood and uh, half slabs here that is important or is it mm, I don't know yeah you should add half slabs here just because of one simple reason we're gonna get to um, and lily pads that is the uh, yeah a little bit more costly thing but it shouldn't be too hard to find a swamp biome where you can just get tons and tons of them but yeah First you gotta find one and then you should also be able to build this one fairly easily without having to put too much effort in it. So for this one you're not gonna be having to sneak, you're gonna have to jump. So you swim in the water. Okay, so let's keep holding space and throw the ender pearl in there. And now we're swimming and now you can see we're not on the lily pads but now we can swim up to the half slabs. If there would be yeah full blocks, it wouldn't really work out because we couldn't swim up that high. But therefore, there are these half slabs, and then we can just swim right through. Sometimes it bugs out a little bit, but then you can just use another ender pearl. And these lily pads are just there um to stop the ender pearl from going through uh, too far. Just like there's the string and the carpet here, and um so that you can stand on there okay so that is pretty much it about all of these three ender pearl designs i will give you another look real quick so let's head on up there uh-huh and out okay so this one 
water, signs underneath, and half slabs. This one, basically the same letter set up as this one over there. Two letters or four letters down there, and then two in the opposite direction. So you can uh, clamp on there and then just cop it on top. Same thing over there, just with string on top. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you left a like. But that's it then, and bye-bye.